According to the Data Marketing Association, segmented email campaigns result in 76% increase in revenue compared to universal campaigns. Defining the characteristic and behaviors of your consumers allows you to identify groups of customers with whom your message will be resonate better. As George Schenk used to say, customer may come in crowds, but they feel satisfaction one at a time. In this episode, you'll learn how to segment your customer's crowd into a specific segments and what advanced segmentation techniques to use to target your visitors and customers with more precise messages and make them satisfied. Traditional segmentation involves dividing your audience into smaller groups. The assumption of segmentation is that similar recipients will react similarly to specific messages. Most often, this division is made by according to such criteria as demographic, age, sex, martial status, education, nationality, economic, country, occupation, income per person, source of income, property, geographical, place of residence, size of the city, voivodeship, climate, geographical area, social, social class, family, life cycle, lifestyle, personality traits, interests. But while this may be Enough for traditional industries or small businesses, internet businesses are a different story. Altogether, audiences are usually relatively similar with no distinguishing. So breaking them into segments based only on the data just mentioned may not help you much. What key should you then divide your visitors and customers by? Segment by the level of customer engagement and activity. Customers who actively promote a brand or product regularly participate in satisfaction surveys or express positive product reviews should receive different content and messages than inactive customers or customers who made a one-time purchase. You can divide your client's engagement into three levels. Occasional, customers sometimes contact your brand product or service, but not regularly. Regularly. Regular, your customers interact with your products or services on a regular basis, but do not take full advantage of them. Intensive, your product or services are embedded in your customer's life and they buy from you whenever possible. Segmenting your customers this way will help you retain your customers. Create a segment by finding the traffic source each group is coming from. You can also categorize and group clients by the traffic source. This is what every marketer likes best. Thanks to this, you will find out what your customers' intention are whenever they want to download your ebook, buy a product, or sign up for a webinar to expand their knowledge. How many needs and intentions to enter your website, so many messages and content you can send to customers. Create different messages for customers who came to your company website from a sponsored article, other for those who came from organic traffic, and different for customers who were encouraged to take advantage of the offer by existing customers of the company. Use your purchase history to divide your customers into segments. This will allow you to isolate uh, different trends and patterns of customers' behavior when making purchasing decisions. Lacey Larson, in one of her articles, identified six segments of buyers based on their online interactions. And 
intelligent buyer is a thorough meticulous researcher who wants to understand every complicated factor before deciding on any product a risk averse buyer is a careful thrifty customer who will not make a purchases without proper insurance such as good hassle-free return policy a buyer resistant to needs is a buyer who needs confirmation that the product is popular based on the claims of its peers i'll get it later buyer is a buyer who is not into rush to buy persuasive buyer is an impulsive customer who is a very susceptible to cross-selling offers do any of these customers segment also apply to you purchase history segmentation will give you insights into the purchasing stage or your customer may be in their role in the purchasing process obstacles they face incentives they are likely to respond and much more knowing this information will allow you to respond appropriately to the customer needs as a result customer who previously bought products from a specific category for example computer equipment will receive a different message than customers interested in smartphones and accessories segment based on the stage of the conversion funnel or the current stage of the customer journey after all if the recipient of the message is a new customer who is getting to know the brand or has just made the first purchase then they should receive a different message than the one of uh, there are regular returning customers segmentation by stage of the customer journey gives direction to your business goals to drive customers to the top of the funnel you need a strong award building campaigns use of content marketing and more to encourage your customers to buy you need well-placed USPs clear answers to frequently asked questions and a good website UX remember that only one third of cards are paid for at once two thirds are left with the products inside in this case remarketing campaigns abundant card automation and multi-channel communication via email sms or browser push could be useful analyze customers in rfm model as a result you will receive customer segments based on the time that has elapsed uh, since the last purchase r the frequency of purchases f and their monetary value m a customer who shows increased activity from the moment of registration or who spends more money your products will be more interested in receiving special personalized communication how to segment in the rfm model download the appropriate data from the cdp system and then sort the columns with variables one by one for each of variable uh, create an intervals and assign the appropriate values from the scale one to five to each record assign the appropriate value from the scale of the r f and m variable in the turn assign values from one to five to the customers of each group depending on the total result assign companies to separate groups segments as the result of segmentation in rf model you will receive the following customer segments top customers active customers engaging customers unsteady customers customers at risk potential lost customers inactive customers lost customers the higher the scale value the better record with parameters r f m equal to five are your best customers the least days have passed since their last purchase most often they place order for the largest amounts while records with value r1 f1 m1 are customers with the smallest 
potential. Your actions should be aimed at ensuring that more and more companies achieve higher and higher RFM values over time. The last way I want to tell you about in segmentation based on the channel the customer is using, both in terms of purchases and preferred communication channels. Let's take a closer look to e-commerce as an example. When it comes to the channel, the way of shopping e-commerce customers can choose between purchases made on the website in a desktop browser or in a mobile browser or using a mobile app or traditionally in stationary stores by scanning their loyalty program card. Still, a fairly common pattern is to search for information online and then buy in stores. Additionally, overlapping of information about communication channels through which the customer wants to receive notifications from email, SMS, mobile push, web push, will allow you to build an omni-channel experience, be where your customer expects and needs is. And after a deep analyze, uh, take action to turn each touch point into a conversion. By segmenting users by their behavioral data, you get a more comprehensive view of how you can customize your message, brand, marketing materials, and ultimately products and services to stay ahead of the competition and reduce customer churn. And you? How do you segment your clients? Be sure to let me know in the comments below.